Dear viewers, today we came with a new topic from selected topics of chemistry that is optical activity and optical isomerism. In this video, we will discuss basic concepts of optical active, optically active compounds, DL convention and RS nomenclature. Stereoisomers are of two types, optical isomers and geometrical isomers. Optical isomers have different arrangement of atoms in three-dimensional space. Here we have shown an example of alanine in which we have different arrangement of atoms in three dimension which are shown by wedge and dash model which makes them a pair of enantiomers which are mirror images of each other and we will discuss it in detail later on. Geometrical isomers are produced due to restricted rotation of atoms due to double bond. Because of this there are cis and trans geometrical isomers. Optical isomers have same molecular formula, same structural formula. They have same physical and chemical properties except optically active reactions. They have different behavior towards plane polarized light and they have different arrangement of atoms in three dimensional space. And this is the arrangement of atom that makes them optically active. They have different biological activities because our living system is stereoselective. An instrument which is used to measure optical activity is polarimeter. The ability of a substance to, to rotate a plane polarized light either clockwise or anticlockwise direction is called optical activity. An ordinary light consists of electromagnetic radiations which oscillates in all planes. While passing through the Nicole prism, it is converted into a single plane light. So it oscillates in only one direction. Now when this plane polarized light passes through the sample, it is either rotated clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, depending on the sample inside the tube. Analyzer is rotated to adjust the light and we can measure the angle of rotation from this analyzer. Specific rotation is measured by the formula given here in which alpha represents that angle of rotation that we observe while <coughs> length of the tube is 10 centimeter and concentration will be 1 gram per ml. T represents room temperature and lambda represents wavelength of light that we are going to use. If the rotation is clockwise, then these, these compounds will be dextrorotatory and we will give a sign positive or D. And if it rotates in anticlockwise direction, the compounds will be levorotatory denoted with minus or small l. If the compound is optically inactive, then there will be no rotation. Why compounds rotate plane polarized light? It is due to the symmetry of molecules. If a compound is unsymmetrical, it has no plane of symmetry or center of symmetry, then it will rotate plane polarized light. If a compound is symmetrical, having plane of symmetry and center of symmetry, it will not rotate plane polarized light. Enantiomers are pair of optical isomers that rotate plane polarized light either clockwise or anticlockwise direction. It is due to chirality or disymmetry, that is compounds are unsymmetrical. The enantiomers will be the mirror images of each other. They will be non-superimposable and they show handedness. Chiral center is a carbon or any atom which is sp3 hybridized having four sigma bond and and each bond will have a different functional group attached with it that makes it unsymmetrical the compound will be the, the compound will have no plane of symmetry no center of symmetry therefore a single chiral center in therefore the compound with single chiral center will always be optically active Stereocenter is different than chiral center. 
stereo in stereo center the atom may be sp2 hybridized they have three different groups attached and may have same functionality or different in if if they have same functionality then the environment of the atoms may be different all stereo centers will not be the chiral center but we can say that all chiral centers are stereo centers compounds may or may not be optically active having stereo centers so stereo center may not be a criteria for optical isomers on the right side here we have shown that in case of geometrical isomers there may have a stereo center but they are not optically active Chirality is the property of optical isomers which are optically active. So, optically active compounds are called chiral compounds. They may have one or more than one chiral centers or stereo centers having no plane of symmetry and center of symmetry. Here we have given an example of stereo centers or optical, optical or chiral centers with four different groups attached. So, the stereo center or chiral center may or may not be carbon. Here we have shown that nitrogen and sulfur as a chiral center. Meso compounds are optically inactive compounds are achiral compounds in which if there is chirality, they have more than one chiral center, but they are they are they are optically inactive due to symmetry of the compound. So they have either they have plane of symmetry or they will have a center of symmetry. Here we have shown an example that in this case it the, the molecule can be cut into two equal halves. Therefore these both chiral centers will not make it optically active and in this case here we have shown an, a compound which has a center of symmetry due to which it is optically inactive. Diastereomers are optically active compounds are optical isomers but they are not mirror images of each other. It means they are not enantiomers. Due to difference in configuration at one stereo center or other stereo center. So different in configuration at one chiral center make a compound epimer of other we will discuss in next slide. Here we have shown that these two in cross these two compounds are mirror images of each other and here in cross these are mirror images so they, they, these are enantiomers whereas both of these are R, R and S these are diastereomers we will study R and S in our next slides so epimers are a type of diastereomers in which the compound will be will, will differ from the other compound at only one chiral center. For example, here we have car two carbon epimer. So D mannose and glucose are two carbon epimers of each other. So only at two position the chirality is changed. The arrangement of atom is in opposite direction. But they are not mirror images of each other. Similarly here Glucose and galactose are four carbon epimers. So only the arrangement of atom is different at four position. DL convention, it is also known as fischer rezanov convention. Before 1951, sugars and amino acids with same relative configuration as plus glyceraldehyde were assigned as D, capital D, and minus glyceraldehyde were assigned as L. Plus glyceraldehyde means texturotatory glyceraldehyde and minus means levorotatory glyceraldehyde. Thus, <coughs> taking glyceraldehyde as a standard, relative configuration was assigned to each molecule. According to Fisher projection, we can draw 3D wedge dash model on a plane of paper as a 2D model in which horizontal line represent coming out of the plane whereas the vertical line is going back. Here we have shown that it is the wedge and dash model which is represented in three dimension. If we rotate it at a 90 degree, these two hydrogen and hydroxyl group will be coming out and they will make a vertical line, a horizontal lines. 
and the vertical lines are will be these two groups so if by changing it by making it if the hydroxyl group is on the right side then it will be deglyceryl dehyde here we have shown that optically minus or liver rotating glycerol dehyde when it is rotated that these these two groups should be at front of you so by rotating it at 90 degree these two position will become like this so hydroxyl group will be on the left side so these are the l glycerol dehyde dl convention in carbohydrates and amino acids will be same but in case of amino acids if amino group is on the right side then it will be d amino acid and if it is on the left side it will be l amino acid rs nomenclature or kahan ingold prelog system it is proposed by two scientists kahan ingold and prelog so it is absolute configuration or specific for each stereo or chiral center so it is based on numbering of the atoms which are attached with the chiral center on the basis of their atomic number moving from 1 to 3 if it is clockwise then it will be r from rectus and moving from 1 to 3 if it is anti-clockwise then it is s coming from sinister so here we have shown that four different groups attached with the carbon bromine with higher atomic number it will be given as 1 and then chlorine 2 then fluorine 3 and hydrogen at 4 now rotating this moving this from 1 to 3 it becomes a clockwise so it will be r isomer and in this case from 1 to 3 it will be anti-clockwise so it will be s isomer so fourth position will be behind here is some other examples of rs system if atoms attached atoms are same then we will move to the next atom and we will see that having the greater number of greater atomic number for example here oxygen and oxygen is attached with this chiral center but this oxygen is attached with the hydrogen whereas this oxygen is further attached with carbon which has greater number so this it will assign as one position and this oxygen will be at two and then carbon three and four so making it like this one two three it will be clockwise so it is r but in this case here we have one position at oxygen then carbon with oxygen second and then if we have to assign third and fourth position third has triple bond with other carbon and here it has double bond with carbon so it means that supposing that it is connected with three carbon and it is connected with two carbon so two carbon will be cancelled out with two carbon and then carbon carbon makes it a reference so it will be priority on the priority basis it will be assigned as three and this is four now moving from this one two and three it will be s as we know that rs nomenclature is absolute so we can assign r or s position for each chiral center so here we have shown that this position is r and this center is s now this compound due to Mir uh, due to internal plane or plane of symmetry this compound is meso compound so it is not optically active determining rs when the fourth position is on a wedge we know that fourth position should be behind so here fourth position is on a wedge so we have to flip it or rotate this entire molecule at 180 degree by rotating it 180 degree the fourth position will behind so it will become dashed now we will assign now we will check that it is clockwise or anti-clockwise and give r or s difference between plus minus dl and rs system plus minus corresponds to the optical activity of the substance that rotates plane polarized light either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction we can also give them small d or l Whereas capital D and L convention corresponds to the relative configuration of whole molecule taking glycerol dehyde as standard compound. So it has no connection with the with the polarimeter or optical activity, although they are they are enantiomers of each other. And whereas in RS system, 
it represents absolute configuration at each chiral center of the molecule. Here we have shown that this alanine is L, whereas this alanine is D. If we if we rotate it at 190 degree from this position to this, NH2 will be on the right side, so it is D alanine. Whereas this is levorotatory, not dextrorotatory, because it is checked through polarimeter. And it is R in N schumer. If we number number it, 1, 2, 3. So it will be like this, clockwise. So it is R in N schumer. Similarly, this L alanine is dextrorotatory. And it is an S in N schumer of the other in N schumer. So these are mirror images of each other. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like and share. For more upcoming videos, subscribe my channel.